Okay, now, now we are going to look at the GPE from the perspective of a year 12 syllabus point of view. In year 12, we can no longer accept GPE as simply mg times h. The reason for that, as we say here, if we take mgh as our value for GPE, clearly every time we measure GPE, m, uh, mgh is always going to be positive because the minimum value of h that you can get will be zero. And m and g are both positive. So therefore, the smallest value that you can have for GPE will be zero. And as h increases positively because it's distance, then GPE will always be a positive value by nature. And that is not good enough anymore for year 12, because in year 12, we need to look at the bigger picture. Now, and this is here is what we call it the macroscopic view of GPE. And this is the better view. Now, we have to teach you step by step in terms of making you understand stored energy, and especially uh, you know, when your knowledge is limited. We, um, pre we present you with enough information. It's not that we've been lying to you. It's just that we needed you to understand each section of physics slowly. Now it's time to reveal the bigger picture the, um, in terms of looking at the true nature of GPE um, of an object. In doing this, in trying to understand the, the, the real bigger picture, I want you to consider a scenario. In this scenario, let's have a read, I want you now to take a seat or I want you to imagine you're standing on the moon as an observer of events happening on Earth. So let's have a look at this diagram. Here's the Earth, here's the moon, and here you are, right, you're here on the moon. These blue lines here um, is the gravitational field of the Earth. You are here, now you're looking at the Earth, and you're also looking at this object. Let's assume for the moment that this object is placed at position A. Okay, so the mass, the object has a mass m, which will now contain some GPE value. Now here's another point, infinity. This point here uh, is a point where the gravitational effect on that mass m will be zero. All right, study this carefully. Now I want you to think about this. Okay, I want you to account for where the mass would have to be in order for its GPE to be of zero value. Where do you think the mass will have to be? Along this line here. Okay? Between the Earth and the point of infinity. Where would this object M have to be in order for its GPE value to be zero? Now, if you were following the year 11 syllab um, knowledge, you would conclude that M has to be at the surface of the Earth in order for it to be at zero GPE. Well, if you consider that, it's actually incorrect. Now let me illustrate to you why that would be incorrect. Imagine that the Earth has another hole dug into it some 100 meter deep, just as I've shown you in the red. So if you compare the object on the surface as opposed to the object inside the Earth 100 meters below, which one will have lower GPE now? So if you conclude from your 11 level that the zero GPE of this mass is on the surface, then you're wrong because there's a point lower than the surface, say 100 meter deep lower, whereby the GPE of that object will, should be less than zero. See how it's wrong? So from that point, we understand now, we get the idea, okay, there's something wrong with our theory in the year 11 work, where we accept that MGP is, uh, can be measured by the formula MGH. The actual zero point, the, the actual zero, zero GP point for this mass M is in fact at this point, at the infinity point. Can you see why? Simply, GPE is the stored, as we understand just then, is the stored energy on a mass 
by the gravitational field system. At the point of infinity, the effect of that gravitational field on that mass is zero. So as such, at that point of infinity, we can conclude that there is no stored potential energy on the mass by the gravitational system. So at that point where there is no more effect, there is no more gravitational effect on the mass, it, that mass will actually have zero GPE value. Okay, think about that for a moment. Pause this video if you have to, but think about that for a moment. This is not a simple concept to grab. Anyway, I'll write the answer down for you here anyway, down below here anyhow. Okay, so as I say here, clearly at the point of infinity, since at that point no more work would be needed to be done to bring 2m, to bring it further away from Earth. Uh, it's a bit, bit hard to grab, I know, but it's quite simple, really. The point of infinity is the point where there is no more effect due to the gravitational field on the mass. So therefore, there is no more storage of energy by the gravitational system. Okay, I hope you got that. Now, the next question that we want to discuss is... I want you to discuss to, to think about the implication of the choice of the zero level of GPE as we saw just now at this point. What is the implication? What is the consequence of now defining a new zero point zero GPE point? We're now saying that the zero GPE point is no longer on the Earth's surface, but rather it's at the point of infinity, a point whereby there is zero effect by the gravitational system on that mass anymore. What is the implication? 